everybody and welcome back to Blender 2.78. This is Sorcerer Studios and in today's tutorial we will be learning how to model this low poly bridge. Now this is a beginner's tutorial so pretty much anybody who just picked up Blender or is starting to use Blender can follow along. So be sure to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so let's get started with the 3D modeling first. So we have our default cube, and I'm going to use this cube to model the overall shape of the bridge. So I'm going to scale it on the x-axis, a little bit on the z-axis, and a little bit on the y-axis. Gonna move it up a bit, and there we go. We have the basic shape of our bridge. Let's scale it a little bit more on the y-axis. There we go. So now we're going to go into edit mode and edit the faces of this. So I'm going to hit 1 on my numpad and then hit 5 for orthographic view. And then I'm going to hit tab for edit mode. And now I'm going to do control R and make a bunch of loop cuts. Let's say 25 is probably good. I'm going to hit right click to confirm that. And now I'm going to hit Z, and Z brings it into wireframe mode. So basically in wireframe mode you can see through the entire object. So what we're going to do is we are going to select these vertices down here, and we are just going to drag them up in the shape of our bridge. But we're going to use the box selection tool to do that. So let's, so let's have the three vertices on each side be the part of the bridge that goes into the ground. So we're going to just drag a box over all the other vertices, and we're just going to drag up a little bit. And now we will drag a box over these ones and drag it up. And as you can see, we are really quickly starting to get the shape of a bridge. So I'm just going to do it just a little bit more with a few more vertices, just so we get a rounder shape. There we go. Okay. I think I like that. So let's go out of wireframe mode and see what it looks like. Alright. So we're doing good so far. Now, here is where we have to put some definition into our bridge. So we're probably going to have two rails or a rail going on either side of the bridge. So let's hit 7 for top view. Let's do one loop cut on each side. So we'll do a loop cut here approximately, and then a loop cut here approximately. So now what we're going to do is we are going to hit 3 on our numpad. We're going to go back into wireframe mode select the box actually let's select face view I just realized that's a better idea so as you can see we have selected all of the faces that we're going to extrude the rail with we're going to well actually first let's select all the other faces here so as you can see all of the faces that will make our rail have been selected so let's hit E to extrude and let's do 0.5 units I think that looks good alright so now we have our basic rail shape alright I think these rails can use a little bit of fanciness so let's hit Z for wireframe mode again let's go into vertice mode and I think I'm going to select these vertices here and what we're going to do is we're going to slant them down just to give them a little bit of architecture so we're going to drag it along the z-axis and there we go we have a fancy rail system now we can maybe the scale button, S and then Y to scale it along the Y axis. Maybe we can make it spike out a little bit. Alright, there we go. So now, I think that we should make the underside of the bridge so that it tilts in a bit. 
so that the inside kind of caves out a bit. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we will hit 7 on our numpad and then 9 to go underneath. We're going to deselect everything and then we are just going to select okay let's select all the faces except for the three on each edge so now let's hit extrude and this will extrude it up a bit now remember we don't want to do it too much there we go so now we have a bit of an underside on our bridge now our bridge needs some stairs so let's first go to this side. In fact, actually, we could do a bunch of loop cuts on each side. And each loop cut will represent the number of bridges that we get. So that's probably good. Right click to confirm. So now we're going to select the faces on each side. We are going to hit extrude. Let's see if this works. Alright, it doesn't seem like the system that I'm using is working. So let's just select one side, hit extrude, and on the X, let's make it 4.5. How about that? So E, X, 4.5. There we go. And now for this stair, we will hit E, and then we will just do 4. And then on this stair, we will hit E, and then 3. Or sorry, 3.5, as a matter of fact. 3.5. On this stair, we will hit E, and then 3. On this stair, we will hit E, and then 2.5. On this stair, we will hit E, and then 2. E, 1.5. E, 1. And then E... 0.5 and there we go. So now we're going to do the same with this side. E 4.5 E 4 E 3.5 E 3 E 2.5 E 2 E 1.5 E1 and E, nope, that's a 3. E.5, there we go. So now I think what we're going to do is we're going to extend this little rail edge here to kind of go over the stairs, like they go a bit further than the stairs. So let's select each rail here and so let's select each side here because this time it'll work let's do E5 let's see what that looks like okay I'll take that so now we will go here we will select these two edges and let's do E4.5 see what that looks like alright I'm liking the look of that so E4 Whoops. Make sure that you deselect the faces that you deselected before or that you selected before. E 3.5. E 3. E 2.5. Whoops. What did I just do? All right. I have no idea what I just did, but we'll just pretend that didn't happen, 2.5 alright, E2 E1.5 E1 and let's make these let's make the edge of the railing E.5 just to give that a bit of a finisher there. Okay, so we've done that side. Now let's do this side. This side, since it's a bit tedious, I'll probably fast forward this. So here we go.
All right, so everything looks good right now. Okay, so we have the basic shape of our bridge. Now we're going to go to texturing or adding material because texturing is actually something different. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into object mode and we want to assign this bridge a material. So we are going to hit this for material and so as you can see this already has a material. So this diffuse color is just a general color so we could change it to any color we want. Let's go for a gray color for now perhaps like that and now what we're going to do is we want to make the stairs and the top of the bridge to be wooden so we're going to make another material hit new and let's call this wood and the other one we'll call it metal so our wood will obviously be wood colored so let's see if we can get as close to wood as possible all right. Okay, that looks good for now. We'll probably have to make that look better, but we'll see. So now what we're going to do is we are going to select all of the faces that make the stairs and the top of the bridge, the top walkway, and simply simply select all of the sides on here as well so that we get the sides of the stairs and now just hit assign now we have a wooden texture or a wooden material on this or on the stairs and on the top of the bridge and just recently I hit 5 to put it back into perspective view because I like perspective view better than orthographic view you could probably find out why okay so now we have the general wood material of the top of our bridge. So let's change the material of the railings that are on top of the bridge. So we are going to add another material and let's give it a darker type of metal because it's a railing. So we will say metal 2 and we'll just make this a little bit darker than the previous metal. Perhaps there is fine. So now we are going to hit the C button. We're going to carefully select, see I'm going over a bit, but we can always undo that or deselect those by hitting shift while dragging your mouse over. Okay, so um, actually for this stage I should have been in wireframe mode because we want to select both railings and both sides and to do that quickly the only way to do it is through wireframe mode so we're gonna go over in wireframe mode actually a better way to do this is to just select is to just drag a box over it and as you can see all of the sides are now selected so we'll get out of wireframe mode so now we will just simply assign and there we go so let's go into rendered view and see what this looks like first we'll go into object mode and now we will go nope not that so here we are currently in solid we were in wireframe a, a couple minutes ago so now we will go to rendered and as you can see there's a shadow on that side there's also a shadow on that side and that's because the lighting is not perfect so let's go out of rendered mode rendered view let's get rid of this light well actually let's not get rid of it let's change it currently currently this light is a lamp but we are going to change this from a point to a sun and a sun is just a general light in a specific angle so as you can see the dotted line going down is the angle in which the light is shooting down so we want to rotate the sun so that it's casting a shadow on this side but it's casting light on this side so we can see it so let's hit rotate and let's just do this quick and dirty so it's like that and the position of the sun doesn't matter 
it's just it's just its rotation so let's go into rendered view and see what happens okay so there is our low poly bridge thank you so much for watching once again if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to my youtube channel it really helps us out and also be sure to hit that like button okay i'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye